Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden hmm, no Frozen Wilds DLC. Uh, I at this point I haven't actually uploaded any of the videos yet because I am planning on finishing the DLC before I upload the videos. Um, but I really, really, really want to play <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West today. <laughs> but I was like, okay, I got to at least play an hour of the DLC because. I don't know. I, I'm gonna try to like play like a little bit of the DLC and maybe some of the game, maybe some of the DLC. Shh, quiet speaker. Um, anyway, that's not something that you guys need to worry about, but I do. What was I trying to do? I'm gonna check. <sighs> don't worry about bandit camps. Um, waterlogged sham shaming shaman's path. The deluge. It's so weird because in the in Forbidden West, I just met with not not just, but I kind of when I was playing her at Forbidden West, I saw a hot again, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think a vod, not a hot, a vod. <laughs> I hope I spelled that right on the thing. Anyway, um, so it's like the city of the sun. Like this Aloy hasn't even met a vod yet. So anyway, up ahead, girl. See the valve. Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this okay. one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? Um. Is it below? Below me or? Hang on. You know, I thought I saw some kind of okay, tunnel okay, up okay. there. Might provide a means to cross. I wasn't the gap. sure if this was gonna be. You know. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, a parking garage. water. Charming. This guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Should I? Oh yeah, yeah. I can take some. Sixty percent. Holy moly. Marvelous. You made it. Now grab that valve and give it a spin. Ah, on I... it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? I'm afraid you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Oh. Ought to lock this thing in place. How do you know that? One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate. He sure is a chatterbox. Actually, can I put this down? Oh, oh, you can. A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Down. You depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go, and no That's, further. That's uh, very philosophical of you. Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around. See what I can find. It looks like I could jump across on that. Breaking the western platform. Definitely. Okay. If you insist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> nice. What am I saying? That was stupendous. Never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Oh, yeah, well. Thanks. I think. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Please move that thing. I can't see. <sighs> the DLC is oh, very close, girl. Just spring across yeah, the yeah, gap. Yeah, no big deal. Easy peasy. <laughs> ah, you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below! 
Now we've done this once before. It could be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. Oh yeah, it's set up the same way on this side. I should look for an access tunnel. Easy peasy, no big deal. It's weird to see running water in a frozen, well, not wasteland, but a frozen land. <laughs> It's gonna be weird going back oh, to uh, Forbidden West. It's been a while since I've played it, and it's a new game, so it has like the newer mechanics. And I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna get real messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, okay, Gildan, turn the bell. What's a podcast? It's not working. Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and uh, broken? What do you, what do you want from me? What do you, what do you want from me? It looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be. I have no idea. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up high. Climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do. Uh, do I jump on it? Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to get up on this. May be safer, maybe, to go up this way? Whoa! Oh jeez. I was hoping I could just climb across and then jump backwards, but that is apparently not going to happen. <laughs> going down fast. I think I could theoretically jump onto this, but I'm not sure, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh wait, she can just help me remotely. Just launch herself. Oh my gosh, no! I, I don't know what's expected of me here. I can't jump straight to the counter from here. So I could climb higher. Although. What? I can't. Oh, now we can get on top of it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, rappel down. Oh, okay. The drop is oh. <laughs> The I had no idea. I'm going down. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> Oh. 
what I am <laughs> I have nothing. Obviously those bird nests are new. They're not old bird nests about the conversation he was having earlier. Got too much up. You were right. This thing did swallow the hey. ring. Hey! <laughs> That's the old guilt and intuition in action. Never let me astray. Sure. I was gonna say it's like uh, Peter Pan and Captain Hook, you know, with the swallowing the arm thing. Chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but Never mind! To the storage room! To the spoils! Oh, what's in here? More old world we drained treasures, enough water perhaps? For what we this need to place do, is but... full of surprises. I wonder if I could do have a look? dam. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. I knew this wasn't the part of the Check quest. Check with my focus, maybe. All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. I'm trapped in Servitor Hell. Got in this morning, and as usual, that one half baked chrome dolt was bumping up against the locked entry door in the reservoir room, moaning about requiring entry into the totality of the facility through its robot voice and the weird, grindy sound the slims make. The acoustics reminded me of a track from one of the least, the less accessible German post punk bands. I've told them and told them every night the pipe network decouples so that the reservoir can refill, and every morning it has to be reset manually. All you have to do is turn the valve thingy so that the water flows directly into the pump. The rest of the servitors seem to get it, but this guy won't stop bugging out. I mean, I know we're supposed to be on site advisors, but this is getting ridiculous. Do I have to scratch the instructions into their stupid, shiny faces? I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to I my don't. ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. So is it like the connections like not? Oh, oh, maybe. Okay, so I gotta like reroute it to... To there over here. Mm. Oh. Where I want to go. Ugh, it stinks down here. Mm. Oh, smell that? Ugh, smells like a Ford. I just don't. I just don't have. Let's see. Morning in the claim. Okay. Looks like that's everything. I should head back up for Gildan. Just bang on this pipe, you know? 
Should we sample that or? Totally. Like, what about after the. Oh, sorry. Just a sec. Laura? I had. What? Uh, dear nobody, I feel embarrassed now thinking about following Laura out of the pump station like a kicked puppy, wondering what horrible thing I might have done until she threw herself into this room and shut the door behind her and just screamed. The fear of abandonment is weirdly self-centered because it presupposes that little, that little old you are filled with such immense destructive power that you're capable of driving away every person you ever care about. Okay, this got really deep real fast. Um. Anyway, at the bottom of the dam with her on one side of the door and me on the other, she told me that Metallurgic had bought her mom's house, her own neighborhood, in fact, out from under her to build a new server farm. Uh, I don't even like the house, she said. I don't even like Indianapolis. I hated every minute I spent in that city as a kid when they told us they'd ha we'd have to leave the dam. I went back to my apartment and sat on my bed and I prayed to God I don't even believe in that I wouldn't have to move back home, that I wouldn't have to show up at my mom's front stoop with a suitcase and a bunch of stupid excuses. She was trying not to sound like she was crying, but she sounded like she was crying. I guess it got my stupid wish, huh? I asked her where she'd go and she'd laugh. What el where else could she go? Back home to have her mom pack up the house to move with her into whatever dank little one-room hole metallurgic displacement grant will allow them to afford. I think I could have dealt with being one of those losers who celebrate their 40th birthday living in the house they grew up in, but now no, I don't even have that. I have no idea how to make her feel better. So I just sat on the other side of the door and I started singing the song we were working on. The one about being the last two girls on earth and eventually started singing along. Love, Shelly. <laughs> These little snapshots of people's lives, like seeing the changes and stuff. It's really, really cool. And like these ones, they, they just feel so real, you know? Like, I don't know. They really like these a lot. Like talking, I don't know, leaving some sort of something for whoever comes after you. you know? It's a very human thing. Like we've been, like I've been looking at rock art and stuff a lot more lately. So as we and it's kind of the rock art thing, right? Where like you want to leave your mark. Like, well, one of the interpretations is that it's like you leaving your mark on the world for like posterity, you know? And even if that wasn't the intention, that is what happened, you know? This message that we don't really understand necessarily has been left for posterity. And now we get to see it and interpret it through our own lens. And that's how Aloy would be doing this to these old messages too. Go back around to the matter of the supply mm -hmm. room. I really hate that we're looting. Like I know, I know that's just part of game mechanics, but we are looting an ancient structure, like in her time. Like I don't think they, they don't really have like. I guess you could kind of call Side Lens an archaeologist, but he's more just like a truth seeker, I think, through the past. Which is, I guess, uh, I can't wait. I that can't is wait. I can't kind, wait. he is kind of like a, an archaeologist for the age, but he's a dick. Almost there. <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> a lot of archaeologists I don't like, so that's fine. That's pretty, uh, par, par for the course. But, yeah, well. Another holographic interface. Maybe I should try scanning objects and see. I already did. Um, counterclockwise. Today. Uh, what... Um, what are you doing with your hands there, girl? <laughs> wait, wait, why do you care? <laughs> he can't see the glow. He just sees me being a weirdo. Up oh, and to the right. But yeah, the looting of artifacts of like a, a somewhat, you know, untouched artifact, like structure, ancient structure, is just horrifying. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. It's like look at this, look at this stuff. Like you can like it, in C2 objects are where you learn the most information. Like when it's like just out and about, it's not Where is it? It's not it's where not did it really go? that I mean it's like pretty, but they're not that useful. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Hmm? Like they, you don't you don't get that much information from it. You can kind of compare it to things that, like you think it might be related to, but like 
without it being actually like in its place, like in association with other objects, like artifacts and structures and like, you know, non-portable things as well, like you're just you're just not gonna get the same amount of information from it, if any at all. Which can be like, oh wow, that's pretty. And it might should have brought a card. It might be for this, you know, some type of thing. Just get married. Farewell tour! Reunion tour in like six months. Fans do it all the time. I know, I saw it! Our adoring fans. Must be in it's here. It's not that hard to stay in touch, Shelly. We could practice in hollow space. People always say that. Somebody's got abandonment issues. Dear nobody, we got in a fight, Laura and I. After practice, we went out for drinks. There's this real bar down in downtown Cody, so we called an auto car and shuttled over. Cody, Wyoming? Hey, we were the only people there with the park closing. Cody's become a. The park? You're closing Yellowstone? Why the way? Is that. Is Cody near. Is Cody near Yellowstone? Cody. The only way I've ever done it really is, like, kind of through. Cody, Wyoming. Looking at a map. It's. I mean, it's to the east. It's not like super close or anything. Yeah, the way I usually go to Yellowstone actually is through um, Idaho. That's how it. How I've done it in the past. You go, yeah, through West Yellowstone. That's the town I usually stop in. Which is actually technically in the tiny small corner of Montana. So you go up through Idaho, at least the way I have in the past, is you go up through Idaho and then you drive just a little tiny bit east to go north and then you go a tiny bit east into the, the teeniest, literally the tiniest corner, like the very bottom left corner of Montana. And that's where West Yellowstone is. But Cody is like just to the east outside the park, so yeah. The more we drank, the more passive-aggressive our banter became, snowballing out of our control, metastasizing in the empty air between us, and before either of us really knew what was happening, we were yelling at each other. I kept thinking, like, I'm not abandoning her, she's abandoning me, and I guess she was probably thinking something similar. We got quiet for a while, drank more, eventually Laura ordered an auto car, we piled into it, slid as far from each other on the backseat as we could, arms crossed, staring out the window, and then I heard myself talking, screw it, I don't care if you stay in touch with me, I'm gonna stay in touch with you. Whether you like it or not, you're not getting rid of me, ever. Laura just looked at me for about like ages. I thought she was gonna start yelling, but her hand crept over mine and we just sat there together. Bottom of the boot. <laughs> just get married. <laughs> Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. A clock. Right there in the window. Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. No. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve! Not the treasure. <laughs> And what a delve it was! Ugh. By the great blazing forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I uh, believe we have some repairs to make. I think we're good, actually. Oh no, we're not good? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> it means it worked. 
By the forge. Oh, oh, you are a wonder. <laughs> do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. <laughs> I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Oh, he's really sweet. He's a nice guy. All right. Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon. You're braver than me. Why oh, there was no question of that. <laughs> You're, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right in there. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> now it's time to freeze my torso off again. Water's lower. And going by that sound, I think Lila is already at the den. I'm trying to listen, I don't hear anything. Oh, is it... Is it that? Oh. How did she know? How did she know? I mean, honestly, it sounds like she's just banging on pipes. No, oh, no. But to each their own. Cars are on their way. Mine will take me to my apartment in Cody. Hers will take her to the Freddy port. She brought her luggage with her to work today. Everything she owns packed into two little suitcases. She's wearing the fanciest outfit I've ever seen her in. It's for mom. She said she brought me this outfit. If you can believe it, normally, like, who cares? But I don't know. She's already dealing with a lot. We walked through the dam today, listened to all those tapes, read all the messages, and maybe this is one of those sign my yearbook will never lose touch things, but I'm not scared of losing Laura anymore. We're family. We didn't inherit each other or settle on each other. We chose each other. No amount of distance, no number of jerks and bad suits. <laughs> Or obsequious robots are ever going to tear us apart. So listen, on the off chance that someone ever actually does stumble onto these things, here's the truth. There was this band called Concrete Beach Party, and for a second it was the best band in the world. And you, whoever you are, are really, really lucky because you're the only person who ever got to hear, hear them. See you never, the last girls on earth. I'm going to be emotional about this. Oh my gosh. I mean, it sounds eerie more than anything else. But it is fitting, right, that she'd be making music in this place. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Oh, I'm Please, gonna cry. <laughs> take this as a token of our gratitude. Oh, blue gleam, nice. No, like, to have this place, like, playing music again after- oh, a trophy, nice. To have this place playing music you know, where it was the last girls on earth and the music they played, you know what I mean? Like, the, this, the story continues in a way that like even like those women in the past and this woman now 
couldn't anticipate. Like her ancestors are more than just like her blood kin, right? Like they were the women here that made music thousands of years ago in a totally different way. Anyway, it's really beautiful and I'm gonna go now. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. And really quick, I wanna say thank you to all my patrons. Uh, to all of them, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, thank you very much, and Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and really super awesome, and thank you so much for your support. Anyway, I hope you all have a song in your heart, and have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.